I'm Brian Olatunji, and I'm a drag racer. My name is Juan Carlos Blum, and I'm a race car driver. My name is Jonathan Castro. I'm a professional drifter. I started with nothing. I didn't even have a screwdriver. This is not easy, but I have to keep going. I understand the risk, but I never give up. I want to win for me and for my country. This is not just a passion. This is who I am. It's my dream. It is my dream to become a champion. To be a champion. This year, man, it's been challenging. We found out two weeks before the season was starting that, um, that Pepsi you know, ended our partnership. Then subsequently, the US Army, they were looking at a bill that possibly was gonna prevent any motorsports related funding. Well, that obviously affected our program. So find a sponsorship is, it's the 800 pound gorilla. I like to say I'm out there selling it like the rents do, because the first is coming, and the first is coming every month. Though grateful for help from several secondary sponsors, Team O is largely self-funded. With Pepsi and the U.S. Army out of the loop, Brian's hot rod gets a makeover. Kind of a nostalgic moment to a degree, because you thought about all the great times that you had, the triumphs and the victories and some of the challenges but then subsequently is sort of looking ahead to see what great things are in store with the Brian O brand. We're gonna remove the graphics that are currently existing right now on the vehicle. This car will take us about probably six, seven hours removal and reinstallation. <laughs> Just 48 hours until race time, Brian's hot rod is a donut missing an engine. We're en route to victory to go pick up some race fuel. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Looks fantastic. These guys always do an awesome job. No, I got you. In fact, I got to put the motor into this thing. I'm at the wrap shop right now picking it up. I just want to go fast tomorrow. <laughs> As night sets in, Brian heads to the shop to finish off the motor. Well, where we're at right now is uh, Brian brought the car here. Um, Rick and Brian are gonna go ahead and get the transmission in the car and get all that situated. And uh, when we get that done, we're gonna go ahead and put the engine in, just uh, hook up the miscellaneous fuel lines, exhaust, things like that, radiator. I kind of pride myself on uh, making these things so they last, and I've actually had one that goes almost 320 passes without ever hurting itself. For some reason, I always, uh, I always help the underdog, it seems like, for people that are in need. Uh, just to know that I watched something that I've done do something very well, you know, that's my gratification. Go back with it, go back with it. All right, slowly. We look pretty centered or not? Watch your fingers. All right, I got you. Hold on, hold on. Man. We ran into an issue with the oil pickup, so obviously that's gonna cost us a little time. So it doesn't look like we're getting much sleep this evening. But we'll see you guys at the racetrack in the morning. We'll be there. That night, we dealt with no less than three unexpected challenges that we had to overcome. But I wasn't concerned. Obviously, I would have liked to have left at 2 a.m. Uh, we got out of there three hours later, uh, but we still were able to get to Norwalk on time. And so I think that's more credit to our team overcoming challenges. Man, dude, you, you know where to find me. Look at this guy, right? He's over here taking tickets, huh? You gotta love that. Look at his team, looks like a beauty contest. <laughs> Hot rod or hatchback. Everyone needs a perfect parking space, and Brian thought he'd found one. Sadly, it belonged to someone with a little more juice. Naturally, you want to be up front. You want to create the most visibility, and you want an opportunity to showcase, you know, your hot rod, your team, and say, hey, we're here. Brian's car is one of the few still being worked on at this late stage. When I'm actually strapped into the hot rod, that's kind of my sanctuary. That's my time when I can completely focus on the task at hand.
Only thing I'm focused on are those amber lights. Cutting the perfect reaction time or as close to triple zero as possible. And here's Brian over the here. I Once I hit the loud pedal, when I see the, the ambers, she dances. Brian's first pass was awesome, with Bertha reaching 128 miles per hour. Awesome, but not perfect. She come through the big end, man. She was dancing something vicious. I had to pull the laundry. Usually I wouldn't pull it on the pass like that, but I mean, when she's walking like that, you definitely have to do something. There's our root cause right there. Looks like we created too much, uh, too much pressure. Pressure with these, with these valve covers. Damn, My I mean, look what it did, God. though. That's all right. We'll get it back together. Nothing's wrong with the engine. Chris put together an awesome piece for us. She sounds fantastic. First pass out. Got a little tuning to do, but she's going to be good to go. As it turns out, Brian had no need to make immediate repairs as the race was canceled due to rain. Jonathan along with mechanics Justin Wu and Joe Vick. You know, the last time we got together, there were, you know, some issues and valid points with, with everyone involved. We've had some time to look at the vehicle more closely and do some adjustments and change some things up. So we're pretty excited to get some of his feedback today. We're gonna set some barrels up as like clipping points and uh, give you a little bit of a, something to shoot for, okay? Yeah, sure, cool, cool. cool. Jonathan rented the car for this season's Formula Drift. The pit crew came with the car. Yep, that's what we need to do. Right there, good, good. Third, come on, fourth. The pit crew actually sees this as progress. You know, you're supposed to get close to stuff, and that's why we put the barrels out there. And if he didn't tap something, then he's not pushing it hard enough. But not enough progress. You have the right idea, brother, but you gotta hit fourth. I don't care how you do it, you gotta hit fourth gear. I don't wanna like sound critical, he's a great driver, you know? He's got to go in hot faster, because yep. that's what everyone else is doing. The extra seat time seems to make a difference. He has great reaction time, very active with everything going on. We're dying to hear what your Damn, feedback is. The car is so nice without wind. Yeah, but how come you can't maintain the the speed through the back there? Is how, it how can I? Yeah, because it looks like it's getting like grip and then it's not spinning anymore. I know it was easy in the trouble. Okay. I was, oh, okay, I, was okay. I was feeling the the, the chassis. That's okay. good because if it didn't make I enough know, power, I, we have a problem. Yeah, know? no, no. I one time put four to to see if we have the power to keep going. Now the car is where I want it. Finally, the car is behaving a lot better. Easy, snappy, but smooth. And now I love it like that. Just leave it like that, man. This car is perfect. Great. That's what we want to hear. All right. Well, then we that had a productive day. That is a successful day, yeah, no, no, 48 <laughs> hours, man. Yeah. It's great. Well, good. We're excited for you and us. Good job, man. You're all excited. Very happy. Excited.